Queen's Gambit declined, Karauzek variation, 4.CXD5 x 55bf 4 c 66 e 3 Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well. In the English opening, White plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. The pawn push on d5 is ready with e6, and the bishop on the dark squares can advance. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. Cx d5 captures the d5 pawn and attacks the e6 pawn. X5 captures the d5 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Bf4 develops the bishop to an active diagonal where it attacks the c7 pawn and controls the center. c6 supports the d5 pawn and allows the queen to develop on the queen side. It is best. E3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is the last book move. That's a decent move. That's good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is quite good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. This disregards a more effective approach to link rooks. It is incorrect. Castling develops a rook while moving the king to a safer position beyond the board center. Castling to the opponent's side of the board usually results in a quick, attacking game. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This overlooks an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable pawn. This permits the opponent to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to trample a bishop. It is incorrect. This defends an underdefended pawn that is inadequately attack. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. That's good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Thus, a pawn is lost. It is incorrect. This is a missed chance to claim a free pawn. That falls flat. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. This overlooks an opportunity to evade the check from the opposing queen. It is an inaccuracy. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well.